On this Tobacco University video, if you're growing plants outdoors, how do we kind of work on that progression from the vegetative to the flowering stage? What are some things we need to keep in mind? And what are some th considerations we should be making? It'll all be presented here on this video lecture. All right, let's get into outdoor natural progression of cannabis from vegetative to flowering phases. So first off, we have to consider the photo period, which also comes from just the natural sunlight. And with outdoor growers, plants will flower based on the duration of sun that naturally changes with the seasons. In midsummer, when days become shorter than 12 hours, is when photo period dependent varieties will start to flower, regardless of the plant's age. However, be mindful of any light pollution uh, on the plants, which can inc include, but not limited to, garden lights, street lights, or various spotlights that might offset the plant's natural perception of the photo period. Now, timing is key. So with outdoor growing, there are a set of conditions that growers need to plan accordingly. The calendar will dictate the photo period and also the typical weather to be expected. So both play an important role in canvas plant morphology development. So we wanna make sure our timing is spot on and everything looks nice and good, because if we're off, it definitely starts to look very awkward. Now that calendar, so photo period dependent varieties will go into flower based on the photo period, so the timing of the plants needs to be based on day length. And that's timing based on when you choose to plant them. Out of flowers uh, may not be impacted by the day length, but there is also the growing season for many areas which is shorter than those that have a winter season. So keep that in mind. Even though auto flowers will just flower X, F, X number of days old, we wanna make sure we're maximizing favorable plant environmental conditions based on the season season and timing of the year. Timing is important for outdoor growers that is centered around their chosen planting date. That's how you can modify what the plants will be exposed to. So when we're looking at photo period dependence, we want to take a look at the calendar. Growers should look at the duration of time that has over 12 hours of sunlight and when the critical day length occurs. Planting should occur to ensure that there's enough time for the vegetative growth of the plants to support quality bud production. And a lot of this depends on your degree of latitude. So you don't want to be planting too late in the season and only allowing plants to go through veg phase for a very short period of time. Keep that in mind. Look at the calendar. When should your planting date be? Now, auto flowering plants, well, they may not change to flower production based on the photo period, but there are other factors to consider to maximize your plant production. Providing plants with longer days can help increase plant efficiency, so this needs to be taken into consideration along with the local weather patterns to catch the optimum growing conditions. So while planting height uh, is in part uh, determined by the actual variety being grown, it can also be influenced by the timing of the planting. While a bigger plant can theoretically at least produce more yield, a tall plant can be more likely to become wind damaged later in the season. This is common in areas near coastlines that may get tropical storms or hurricanes. So again, take that into consideration as well. Uh, lastly, staking or kind of plant support structures. For outdoor production, plant supports are an option, but this may be more uh, applicable to small growers. Also, the material you should be considered, as typically plants can get quite large and require strong supports, which is often uh, used with metal rebar. Um, it can also depend on your pruning style. If you're growing in large-scale production, you may not be doing a lot of pruning, but if you're growing in a smaller operation outdoors, pruning might be an option. Um, screen of green might be another worth consideration. We are laying out a bunch of trellis netting, allowing plants to grow up to only keep them to maximize production per plant, but to also provide some physical support. So take these all in, uh, options into consideration when growing cannabis plants outdoors.